Hello everyone. Um, today I'm gonna actually give a, um, a video on how to actually upgrade. <coughs> oh, I'm not say upgrade, but uh, how to actually flash your Nexus Six Shamu uh, back to the factory images. So um, as you look at it, um, this is the device Nexus Six. Currently, I'm actually using a pigeon case. If you look at it, this is a pigeon. Um, and I got it pretty good and I, I find that this, this case is very good it's, it's slim I'm not too sure whether it's for sale now if, if there is I'll leave a link down below for you guys to actually take a look at it and for me basically this phone still looks pretty aged pretty well I should say it still looks pretty good up to today um, I got it refurbished from the US itself, I do a change on the back panel. I did a change on the uh, wireless charging panel. Yeah, I actually did quite a lot of uh, fixes to this machine and it still feels pretty good. Um, currently, it's running on uh, Vintage OS. I'm gonna do a flashing back to stock and show you guys how to do a stock factory image flash as well as the OTA upgrade flash for this. Right, so once this is done, maybe in the next video, I'll show you guys how to do a uh, flash to Lineage OS as well as a flash to uh, Mocky ROM, the custom OS, uh, custom firmware, or custom ROM for this particular Nexus itself. Up to now, I think Nexus, Nexus 6 still has the security patches uh, active, so it shouldn't be a problem if you guys uh, still want to use this as stock factory image to keep it but I do find it a bit lagging in terms of that and um, so and it def definitely Android 8 won't be coming to this machine so if you want to you can actually flash it to custom ROM um, and I'll go through the process of pressing custom ROM as well for this so for, for this video itself we were going through just to flash the phone to back to a factory image via the full image flash as well as the OTA update for this of course, on a day I did bought a few tempered glass um, protector. Uh, there are some of them would be um, standard tempered glass. Some of them would be a nano one, which is the um, a bit more flexible kind of glass that they have. Uh, tempered glass would be slightly better in terms of uh, avoiding scratches. But the nano one is easy to install. Plus, it's um, cheaper, I guess. So I'll leave a link down below as well for this tempered glass if you guys want the tempered glass for your Nexus 6. It's pretty cheap actually, you can, you can actually buy uh, like 5 or 6 of them and put it at home just in case uh, anything breaks. And also some links on the back panel that I actually bought it from. Um, and I just peel it off and change it. Um, initially this thing was um, it's blue. I actually did the frame change to silver, back panel change to white as well as a sim tray which I bought it silver as well to do the uh, changes from the blue color to the uh, silver if you guys wanted a video on that just leave a comment down below I'll do a video on how how do you actually buy all these parts and do the changes yourself and it's not expensive trust me I mean like end up maybe you can spend like 30 40 dollars at most for all these changes which is uh, quite good I guess Okay, let's move on to the flash. Okay, the next thing that we need to do is to actually uh, make sure that we have ADB installed in your in your PC or laptop so that um, we can actually use it for our, uh, our process of flashing back stock uh, Android ROM to the Nexus 6. So, um, for, for, for my own preference, I actually use the uh, minimal ADB and fast boot from XDA developer. It's actually easier to use, it's much simple, so I don't need to actually download the entire Google SDK and install it in order for ADB to be active. So before you do, that depends on whether what state that the phone is currently on. If your, if your phone basically is already flashed previously on um, custom ROM and stuff, then you shouldn't have any issues of flashing back to stock factory because your phone should be already unlocked um, but for those that actually this is the first time or basically you will be locked back the, uh, the 
phone prior to the flash so what you need to do the first thing is to plug in the phone okay. USB debugging on so you'll need to plug in your phone so once you plug it in you, yeah you should have um, if your USB debugging on you can actually now launch the Then you just do a uh, ADB devices. If your USB, USB debugging is on and you already trust the uh, PCs or your laptop, you should be able to see. So as for now, you don't see anything yet. So most probably USB debugging is not right. So what we need to do next is to on USB debugging. In order to on the USB debugging, what you need to do is to. Uh, I should have the developers option already. Basically, you just tap on the phone and you just tap on the, the number. Okay, so, you enable developer settings. So, you go to developers option and you just look for US, USB debugging. So, you should have that on. So, you need to turn on USB debugging. Okay. And then you should always do trust computer and okay. So, once you have that done, then we go back, go back to the screen for our. Okay, so once you have your USB, USB debugging uh, enabled, so now you should be able to run ADB devices and you should see the uh, device that is attached, which is Nexus 6. So, so what you need to do next is uh, ADB reboot, there. that should bring you to the fast boot option. So, if yours is still locked you can use fast you can use the command so you first of all you just do a fast boot devices to make sure that it's connected you can see the device is connected so second thing is to make sure that if, you have, if your status now is locked so you need to unlock the phone so you know unlock it you do fast boot vm unlock because this is not the new phone so you can actually do that and once once you do that it will prompt a screen on your phone to state that this phone will be unlocked and everything will be erased data and stuff will be erased from the phone so if you have stuff that haven't backed up so make sure you do that back it up and make sure that you have our data backup because it, before you proceed to do this right so for me things are already backed up so and it's already unlocked so i'm not going to do this so the next thing you will need to do now is to navigate to your the, the place where you put your uh, firmware I mean factory image firmware so for my case it's, it's here so what I need to do now is uh, to extract out the this is the OTA file which I'm going to show in the next video so what you need to do is just open up the archive for this and uh, just extract this out to here so let the extraction finish then we will go, go back and proceed so you now we can go back to command prompt and navigate, navigate to so for my case this is in D so Nexus 6 uh, so the Shamu um, so now it's extracting so we'll wait for the extraction to finish once it's finished then we will navigate in through the start of the flash process so yeah now it's done so we just close off the zip stuff so now we go to CD Shamu Shamu right so you can see this is all the stuff that they have inside so what you need to do now here is to do a flash all but before we do this in order for you to be able to do this you will need to add your how should I put it you, sh you basically will need to add your environment variables of your Minimal ADB and fast uh, and and fast boot environment variables into the path folder here, so that you can actually run the all the fast boot ADB commands anywhere on your command prompt. So please make sure you do that, so it's easier for you to actually and you don't need to actually copy all this uh, flash files into the uh, minimal ADB and fast boot folders. So once you put it here, so you can launch the command everywhere, so you can just navigate to your um, firmware folder or your ROM folder and just do a flash from there 
Okay, so once you are done with all the uh, environment variable settings and stuff, so now from this screen itself, what you can do is just run a flash all. So you just do a flash dash all dot back, and it will it will start flashing your device back to stock images. So this this um, is a pretty good way for you to actually uh, move your I mean like return or revert or restore back your Nexus 6 back to a factory settings and it doesn't matter whether you're running um, custom ROM, custom recovery and all this stuff, this thing will flash everything back to stock which is a pretty easy job to do. So what you need to do now is just press enter and you just wait for it to finish. As you can see, the message, the error, error message there, like archive does not contain boot.sig, archive does not contain recovery.sig. Once you see this, you can just leave it there. It will go past this. Uh, it will go past this stage. So don't worry too much about it. Last time when I used to do it, I find that I thought this is an error and I close it off. Please don't let it run. It will complete everything, and your phone will be back to a factory stock settings. Um, the splashing has finished. You can actually just close it off and wait for the phone side to boot and see how things goes. Just close this off. And as you can see, as you can see now, the phone is booting. So, um, so we'll just let it boot until we see the uh, setup screen. As you can see, the phone has been um, <coughs> has been set up properly. Now we are in stock ROM, so we can just let's go skip the check SIM card, set up as new. Um, Wi-Fi network. Well, let's just key in the Wi-Fi network now. Yeah, so now it's um, connecting to the Wi-Fi. So this one is for you to put in, sign in with your accounts and stuff. Um, so I can skip this for now. I can just skip it. Um, skip. Name. Uh, next. I don't need a name. I think. Um, not now. Skip anyway. Um, just go through all the stuff and do a next. <clears throat> okay. So as you can see now. Uh, if you go on, I mean, like if you go on the what do you call that? The settings. If you look at the settings, you can see now it's running on 7.1.1, um, August 5th, uh, August 5th, 2017 patch. So um, that that's it. I mean, the phone is back to stock now and everything runs perfectly. So if you have any issues or uh, questions regarding how to actually move or uh, restore your Nexus 6 back to stock, you can leave a comment down below below the video and stuff. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. So that's all for now. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and um, do subscribe if you want any future updates on any Nexus phones or MacOS phones and stuff. So thank you for watching. Bye.